Hey my pretty cheer friends, welcome back to Colonial Girl Liz. Before we get started with this video, with today's video, make sure you give a huge comment, give a huge thumbs up, be sure to subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. I post every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Let's get started with today's video. So today's video is going to be interesting because, um... I am not doing a history book haul. I am doing a Revolutionary War book haul and Thomas Jefferson in the writing of the Declaration of Independence. You're going to be learning about that today. So um, I'm going to do my Revolutionary War history book haul first. So um, if you don't already know, I love history. I want to be a historian when I grow up, along with a pediatric emergency room doctor. I want to... Um, work at a historic, Revolutionary War historical site and dress up. Like, that is one of my major dreams. Like, even, you know, like, just being on YouTube, that was my, like, I wish for that for my 14th birthday, and bro, I am finally here. So, um, enough talking, enough talking about me. Let's get started with today's video. So, these are my Revolutionary War history books. Well, this is old Ironsides, but it took place in Boston, so I still consider it Revolutionary War. I mean, you might be thinking, Liz, what are you doing? That's not Revolutionary War, but I still consider it Revolutionary War. So, um, yeah, I hope you like, comment, and subscribe, and give this video a huge thumbs up, and turn on your post notifications, and make sure you subscribe. I want all the subscribers I can get, because, um, you'll learn a lot of history. So, let's get started with the slideshow. Sorry, I keep saying let's get started. I am just beginning... I'm just a beginner YouTuber, so sorry in advance for that. But let's get started. Sorry for repeating myself. So, um, I don't know the best way to angle this, but yeah, here we go. Thomas Jefferson's birthday and the writing of the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson's birth. Oh my god, Liz. Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Thomas Jefferson was born on April 13th, 1743. He was born in Shadwell, Virginia. His mother was Jane Randolph Jefferson. His father's name was Peter Jefferson. His siblings' names were Peter Field Jefferson, Anna Scott Jefferson, Marks, Lu Lucy Jefferson Lewis, Je Randolph Jefferson, Martha Jefferson Carr, Mary Jefferson Bowling, Elizabeth Jefferson, Peter Thomas Jefferson, and Jane Jefferson. Jefferson was the third oldest of ten siblings. I did not know that myself. So that was something new I learned. Next slide. Jefferson writing the Declaration of Independence. Jefferson wrote a famous document in our nation's history, the Declaration of Independence. You see, back in 1776, we didn't have 50 United, 50 United States. We had 13 colonies. They were ruled by King George III of England. The king wanted them to pay taxes on paper, sugar, and tea, of course. The most famous words in the Declaration of Independence are, We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. July 4th, 1776, the day we adopted the document in Independence Hall in Philadelphia and declared independence from Great Britain. The declaration was actually signed on August 2nd, 1776. Thomas Jefferson had to write the declaration with a headache. They wanted Jefferson to do it because he was a great writer. The declaration was a message to King George saying that the colonies were tired of being bossed around by England and that they wanted to govern themselves and have a say in their own government. That's why today we celebrate the 4th of July because we declared ourselves free from King George of England. Fun facts. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams both died on July 4th, 1826, the 50th anniversary of the Declaration of Independence, just hours apart from each other. 
Thomas Jefferson lived in Charlottesville, Virginia. As an adult, on a mountain, his house is called Monticello. Monticello means little mountain in Italian. Jefferson was our third president. He was born in the spring. He had a daughter named Patsy Jefferson, who also lived at Monticello. He had a lot of books in his house. So, um, that is it for today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to today's video and all my videos. And make sure you get me to 1K. Make sure to like, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe. And most importantly, turn on your post notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. That's all for Colonial Girl List today. Stay tuned for more videos. Peace.